Hi everyone, this is Teresa Jackson here today with another Lightroom tutorial. This one is all about copyright metadata and making sure that that copyright metadata is included in your image file when you export it. This tutorial assumes that you already know how to create a metadata template and that you probably have already created a metadata template. I'm currently in the import dialog. The best way to make sure that your images include copyright metadata is to add the copyright metadata during the import. You can do that over here on the right hand side under apply during import. Down here where it says metadata, there's a drop down. You can see that I have a lot of metadata templates created and I create a new one for each year. This was this uh, folder of pictures from the safari park was shot recently so I'm going to pick the copyright 2016. So now if I was to click the import button those images would be added to my catalog and the copyright metadata would be added during the import. If your import dialog looks like this you're just in the compact view. In the compact view you still have the option to add a metadata preset here on the left. If I click here I can choose 2016. If you want to see the full view this triangle here in the lower left will take you to the full import view. Well, That's easy enough and all well and good when you remember to follow the steps you're supposed to, to follow. I'm going to cancel out of this and take a look at a folder where I forgot to apply the copyright metadata. It's always a good idea to double check and make sure that your image actually has the copyright metadata before you do the export. And you need to be in the library module to check the metadata. And then you come to the right hand side here and there's a panel for metadata. And we can see that this doesn't contain the creator information or the copyright notice or the copyright status. I could click in these fields and type them in by hand, but that would take a lot of time, especially if I did it one image at a time. I could go up here where it says presets select this drop down and you'll see all my copyright metadata presets. But if I did that one image at a time that would take a lot of time too. So what I want to do is a control or a command A to select everything in the grid then go to preset pick the correct copyright preset and then it's going to ask if I want to apply it to everything and yes I want to add that copyright metadata to every image in this folder. Making sure that your copyright metadata is included in your image when you export is really a two-step process. The first one we've completed, which is confirming that the image has the, meta the correct metadata in the catalog. The second happens in the export panel. Let's select one of these images and go to File, Export. The important part of this panel for this metadata tutorial is this section here that says Metadata. At a minimum, I like to include copyright and contact info. If it's copyright only, it's going to strip the my website and my email address and my creator name. So copyright and contact info will add that. And if you pick all metadata, that will include all the metadata for that image. 